It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Atlanta Falcons and the Miami Dolphins. And it's all up next. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43-6 and six while he was in college, has speed, dual threat ability, and the production off the charts while he was in school, and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Here's Ritter now to throw on their first play. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Now a throw here to his running back. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football, as they've got it with a first and 10. Ritter to throw it. They'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Back to throw, Ritter. And that's incomplete. And now a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback goal for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Second and ten. Sticking with a passing game. Here's Ritter again. And complete to Drake London. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 21. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Ritter on first and 10. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Then their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. From the 21, it's second and 10. Working from the gun, Ritter. This is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Kyle Pitts as the first half is winding down. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and allows him to make some special plays out there. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on top. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at seven to nothing, as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Falcons grab it. And they take over already five yards deep into the red zone at the 15-yard line. So they take the deficit into the lockers. You know they had plans to receive the football. A nice drive instead of fumble on the kickoff. And that can be demoralizing right there because, as you pointed out, they had designs on coming out and, okay, we're going to change things here in the second half. Instead, with a deficit already, they cough it up, and now they've got to find a way to keep the score from mounting bigger against them. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Hey. 
Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. Caught on the slam. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Ready, break. Robinson, touchdown, Falcons. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Coup for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that drive, four plays. And it was Bijan Robinson who took it home with a touchdown run. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They're staring at a two touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tongue of Iloa. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Tua. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Barrios. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Now Tua. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. With just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Here's Tua. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. For a tight end, he's got good straight-line speed, and on that route, 
He's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Falcons are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Certainly not the highest of scoring games, Charles. Their offense yeah, did some okay things. Not a lot of points on the board, but enough for the win with how their defense was playing in this one. Yeah, they certainly brought their A game, didn't they? They weren't fooled by anything that was presented to them from start to finish. That defense, they might as well have told their offense, guys, just kick a field goal. We've got it today. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check